Hey y'all, what it is, bitch. All right, so yeah, I was watching Divessa Zealot, and um, she was talking a lot about Freak Nick. You know that festival back in Atlanta, back in the nineties. Um, you know the hilarious thing about every uh, about all of this is, I was born in nineteen ninety four, and I was born in Atlanta, like the height of Freak Nick. <laughs> the summer Freak Nick started, I was born. Like I was born July nineteen ninety four. So. You know, before you niggas come to my page talking about some, your mama was probably a freak nigga code. Nigga, no. My mom was pregnant with me and had me, was taking care of me and was married. Okay, so she was not no freak nigga code. So, anyway, my point being is, black men, I watched clips of black men saying um, back then, well, you know, don't be surprised if you if you get uh, assaulted because you got your ass, your titties out, you shaking your booty, you shake your booty on cars, you, you doing all this freaky stuff in, in the streets. Like, black men have never wanted to protect black women. Freak Nick was basically the same as Woodstock. You know how they had that hippie festival back in the 60s. It was basically the same thing, but like a hip-hop version of it in Atlanta. You know, but black women, women, we can't express our sexuality without getting assaulted. Like, we can't shake our ass, shake our titties, wear a bikini without getting assaulted. Without niggas thinking it's okay for us to get assaulted and we need to be punished, you know, for um, trying to have some type of a festival. And, you know, Divested Zealot said it perfectly when I was watching her live earlier. She was saying, you know, white men protected white women when the whole Girls Gone Wild thing was going on back in the early 2000s. And the Girls Gone Wild girls were showing their tits. They were doing all types of, they were basically nude all the time in these girl, Girls Gone Wild videos. I remember them. They used to advertise them late at night when I was a kid, girl. And, you know, white men never trashed white women. But black men trashed black women forever over Freak Nick, which was a festival that lasted two summers. Okay? Black men do not care about you. Black men want you to get assaulted. Okay? Black men want you to be a victim, you know? And in, in the, and the crazy, crazy thing about all this is it's getting a documentary now in 2023. Why the fuck do we need a documentary of this shit? Most of Freak Nick was a bunch of niggas running around raping okay raping black women who were you know scantily clad twerking on um you know shaking their ass on on cars it was mainly that and, and i know on these stupid hulu and netflix documentaries they're not going to display that because you know why black men are a protected class they're just going to show black women looking like hoes they're not going to show the real shit that these niggas was assaulting and raping okay these young in early 20s black women who were just going to Atlanta to have some fun and it's fucking sad and I just want black women to realize black men do not care about you it's the same shit 30 years later black men do not care I was on Instagram and I saw so many comments of basically black men making fun of the black women who used to uh, twerk on um, in Freak Nick and oh well, uh, you know, uh, I bet your mama was a freak Nick Ho. Uh, these bitches, I um, believe these black bitches have been hoes for, for decades. They ain't never changed. They still hoes today. Like, black men will never respect you. Go to the other side, black women. Black men will never respect you. They always want you to be in some type of danger. They are, they're always going to blame you. Okay? Period. Bye.